Welcome to another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Filling in for Dave Palumbo, I'm Sadiq Faruqi, here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Tuesday, May 19th, 2015. Let's get to it. There was quite a bit of action across the pond this past weekend as the bodybuilding world packed up and headed across the Atlantic for the annual Body Power Expo and Pro Show. In the 212 division, we saw Korean sensation Kim Jun Ho bring an impossibly sharp package to the stage and claimed his first pro victory along with an Olympia qualification. In the figure division, it was Slovakia native Adela Andreovica who claimed the top honors in a group that had quite a bit of international flavor. And in the always popular wheelchair bodybuilding pro division, we saw American Harold Kelly bring home the crown. Congrats to our British bodybuilding brothers and sisters on another great event. After flying under the radar for the last few months following a disappointing finish at NPC Nationals, it looks like Armand Adibi is beginning to put things back together quite nicely. Last week, Adibi released some new photos that show the perennial national level heavyweight contender looking swole. Last year, Adibi was considered among the favorites to compete for a pro card at NPC Nationals, but wasn't quite able to bring the look he needed to put himself in contention. But with another solid off-season to regroup, I'm sure we could expect to see a DB back on stage battling it out as he attempts to bring home a pro card that's been over a decade in the making. It looks like Guy Ducasse is gearing up to make his 2015 debut. Earlier this week, photos surfaced of Ducasse just five weeks out of landing back on stage at the Dallas Europa Pro. According to coach Trey Hodge, Ducasse is currently sitting at a cool 207 pounds and looks to be back on track to bring in one of his best looks to date. Ducasse has been a fixture in the bodybuilding scene for nearly three decades, and despite the fact that he's a sprightly 52 years young, he doesn't appear to be slowing down anytime soon. Over the years, some of the greatest names in the sport have emerged from the USA Championships. And one of these days, 2014 overall champion Nick Tregilli hopes to have his name added to that list. Recently, Tregilli was spotted in the gym grinding out another brutal training session as he attempts to pack on some more size before next year's pro debut. When he nails his conditioning on stage, Tregilli shows all the signs of an excellent pro in the making. But if he wants to elevate his stock alongside some of the sport's elite, he'll need to buckle down, train smart, and remember that bodybuilding is a long distance race that never quite seems to end. You'd think that after 26 pro victories, eight Olympia titles, and a wildly popular supplement line, there wouldn't be much left to do for Ronnie Coleman to accomplish in the bodybuilding world. But if you thought that, you'd be wrong. In just a few days, Coleman will be releasing his very own video game entitled Ronnie Cop, that will be available on iPhone and Android. Fans will have a chance to strap in and become Ronnie Cop as he cleans up the mean streets of the cyber world as only he can. Given the popularity of video games, can Kai Green vs. Alien be far away? Be on the lookout for Ronnie Cop coming to a phone or tablet near you starting May 21st. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning brought to you by Iron Mag Labs make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. Filling in for Dave Palumbo, I'm Sadiq Faruqi. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Have a great day.